I was uh, in high school, it was my senior year, and a shop actually reached out to, a, I was in a machine shop class and they reached out to the class. And uh, I really never knew anything about mold making or if, if this trade even existed. So I went and applied for it and not knowing what I was getting into. And sure enough, it was a very interesting. And so they took me in and I started an apprenticeship. And I started off sweeping floors, driving, and that's how I started and then learned the trade from there. Yeah, my name's Andre, uh, Andre Topper. Um, I'm actually the shop foreman. We build uh, plastic injection molds. Um, they're for the automotive industry, medical industries, um, any of the consumer products that you may not know of, but uh, it's always plastic parts, anything plastic parts are things that we build. Um, so you may see some things that would be on the store shelves or anything that uh, something potentially we've made. Uh, the growth obviously is, um, there's so many different aspects to mold making, uh, different areas of machining. There's CNC machines, EDM machines, uh, we have um, polishing. There's so many different areas that could branch off of this and uh, you learn a little bit of everything from and within this. Um, so that's obviously something you can grow into. There's so many different opportunities within the trade itself. The skills you would need us, obviously you want a math background, you want to be do very well in math, uh, have an understanding, um, clear thinking if there's any designing classes classes uh, that'll kind of help you kind of get creative even craft classes anything for creativity you want to have a creative mind um, man open thinking helps definitely my day is pretty mixed up because I do a little bit of everything um, I'm on the floor in the mornings I come in I'll walk around make sure everybody is um, any problems that we have I got to make sure I'm attending to the problems potential problems come up with solutions for fixes make sure things that were supposed to run at night did run at night and then um, I check emails, obviously I go to meetings, I have to sit in meetings for planning and things. Um, I do outsourcing, so I gotta make sure outsourcing is taken care of. So my days kind of mixed up throughout the shop. Uh, the best thing about this career is, to me, is like knowing that you're gonna create something. You're not manufacturing something that's already exists. You're gonna actually create something that didn't exist before. So you're making new parts, everything is different. It's exciting to see uh, every part we make is different and unique. Sometimes there's a lot of hours you have to work. Um, so if you like working late, sometimes that has to happen. Missing due dates is hard to take because you take such pride in your work and if you miss a due date, you feel like you've let the company down. I would say this would be a good choice, a good career path. Um, obviously you get to work with your hands if you want to be creative, if you're mechanical. Um, this is definitely a, a career for you, a path for you. You'll have some um, college, obviously some classes, but the shop pays for it. So they basically will take you to college, get you through the classes you need to grow in this company and grow as a person. So if you don't want a lot of college, you obviously want hands-on, this is definitely a path for you.